Hello, I'm Dr Keith Beasley and I'd like to share with you my passion for emotional intelligence, EI or EQ, emotional quotient. Beyond normal words, what is it really? So I'm going to be sharing with you my insights and experience of the gist of emotional intelligence, the essence, or what some might call the threshold concept, those aspects of it that make it actually quite difficult for us to grasp. Why are you always interested in emotional intelligence anyway? Well, we know all the justifications for doing it, but let's get beneath all that. And I think Einstein sums it up. How can we expect the sort of consciousness, the rational thought that caused our problems to solve them? With emotional intelligence, we can redress that balance. We can get restore the balance between our logic and our hearts, between our head, what we think and what we feel deep inside us. Way back in 1987, I published what was to become the first published use of EQ, Emotional Quotient, and I defined it as EQ is to the heart what IQ is to the brain. And the whole idea was to look at a comparison between how we feel and how we think. I never intended that it should be something that would be measured like IQ. But seriously, how can we measure anything to do with the emotions? How much do you love me, for example? But what, you may ask, about the skills and competences that are a big part of emotional intelligence? Well, they're very useful indicators, very useful tools. Likewise, to identify how emotional intelligence has aspects of social intelligence and so on. It's all very useful, but we must be aware of descriptions because philosophers generally agree knowledge about a thing is not a thing itself. You cannot know rain until you've been drenched in a heavy storm. The description is not the thing itself. So to develop our emotional intelligence, to improve our EQ, it's about becoming more aware taking time out to reflect, develop our mindfulness, becoming wholly human, again, as we were when we were children. We need to reconnect to our body knowing, to that gut instinct, and to value our intuition, and allow ourselves to be inspired by the creative muse, to tap into a, a deeper knowing. So it's about rising above national consciousness, knowing that some things just are not logical. So we have to restore this balance between an objective view of the world and a subjective one, where we don't just think about it, we feel it. So it's about recognising that head and heart are both vital to our well-being. It's not an either or, it's about engaging intellectually and emotionally with life as a whole, with everything in it. It's about thinking, feeling human beings, and it's about removing the chips on our shoulders, our mental blocks, and all of our attachments. How we often cling to theories, to ideas, to words, but they're not real, are they? And that's what gets in the way of us being whole and true. We need to balance and integrate our intellectual knowing with what we know through experience, and what we just know in these three ways of knowing that I describe in my work. So developing our emotional intelligence is about becoming more empathic, more compassionate. It's about integrating our hearts with our minds. It's about caring. How do we do this? Well, we can do it in many ways to improve our awareness, to improve our connection into the deeper aspects of life through creative pursuits, painting, poetry, dancing, through Reiki, yoga, Tai Chi. But it's about rising above the thinking. So how do you feel now? And how do you feel now? Do you feel alive? Do you feel angry that I left you without any words for a few seconds? Are you amused at what I've done? Are you intrigued by what I'm saying? Are you bored? Are you uneasy because I'm challenging some of the things you believed in? So to conclude, an EQ, IQ. Intelligence, yes, but not IQ or logic, in tune with feelings.
I hope I've inspired you and intrigued you. If I have ignited something within you through the deeper feelings and essence behind emotional intelligence, please contact me. I look forward to it. Bless you.